Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Living Flavors with Sunita. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make chenna stuffed chapatis. So it is very easy to make. You can also pack this for your kids lunch box. Come on, let's get started. For the stuffing, I have taken 1 cup of chenna which I have cooked in pressure cooker for around 7 whistles. I'm going to mash this. You can also use, use a masher to mash this. And now let's add all the masalas that are required, adding one onion which I have finely chopped, half a teaspoon of chilli powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, a pinch of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, one green chilli which I have finely chopped, salt as required, curry leaves and coriander leaves finely chopped and half a cup of cheese and cheese is optional if you're making this recipe for your kids you can definitely add cheese and now I'm also going to add the juice of half a lemon mix all the ingredients well and now take some required amount and make it into balls and now I have made chapati dough using wheat flour I have taken two cups of wheat flour and I'm going to pat it flat and I'm going to keep the stuffing inside it Close it well. You can just pinch and uh, seal it so that it would be secured and make it flat. And now we are going to roll this flat using a roll pin. Ensure that the uh, chapatis are not too thick or not too thin. And if you see some stuffing coming out, that's okay, it's completely fine. Remove the excess flour and I'm going to cook this on a tawa for around two, uh, 2 to 4 minutes, that is 2 minutes on each side. And now exactly after 2 minutes, I'm going to flip it. You can also add ghee for extra flavor. You can replace ghee with oil or a regular butter. And that's it, our yummy stuffed chapatis are now ready in no time. Our yummy stuffed chapatis are now ready. It's time to taste. It's so soft. It's so good. You can also pack this for your kids lunch box. It will stay fresh and soft. All the masalas that we have added are well combined with the chana that we have added. It all combines well and gives a wonderful flavor. Definitely give this a try and let me know how it turned out for you guys in the comment section below. And if you like this video, do give a huge thumbs up and support me. It really means a lot to me. See you guys next time with another interesting recipe or another interesting video. Until then, take care. Bye.